This is a technique that I use when I'm trying out different compositions. So I'm using Sketchbook app and I have uploaded a number of photographs all based around the same still life onto my camera roll. And I'm now choosing a couple of those to upload and then to create little compositional drawings. So this little button up here, if you click it, it will then select the pages, your layers that you're using. So just now I have selected the photograph and if I slide this tool along, it's the opacity tool and I can change how strong or diluted the image looks when I look at it on my sketchbook. Here I'm trying out different pens. I quite like this pen. I'm going to make sure it's in black, which it is. And I've got it set not too thick, but thick enough so that I will be able to see it when I'm drawing. Now I'm just using a really loose line. I'm trying to use a continuous line, which means I'm trying really not to lift my pen off of the screen. So just using lots of expressive free flowing lines, trying to really pick out the main sections of the objects. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail because this is all about composition. It's all about the arrangement of the objects and all about the shapes. It's important that I include the background as well and that the fabric and the folds in the fabric are included in this because that all helps bring together the composition. So I quickly move around. I zoom in and out where I need to be able to see things more clearly. I can zoom into my picture just by pinching my screen and um, opening it up or closing it. And I'm just using the same size of tool for this first layer. It's important that when you do your first layer, you do your first layer on a separate sheet from the actual photograph. So I'm working on a sheet, a layer on top of my photograph. So at the side, when you see later, I click on the paper, you will see that I've got two pieces of paper. The first piece is the photograph and the second piece is a layer that I am drawing on. As I said before, I'm trying to use continuous line and I'm working really quickly. If you want to slow down, the way that you work and be more exact with your mark making, that's absolutely fine. But remember the aim of this is really to focus on the composition, the layout. So it's really about getting the main shapes in and not going into too much finer detail. I like to check my progress. So I do that by clicking on the layer that's got the photograph and there's a tiny eye icon in the top left hand corner. If you click that, you can get rid of the image behind and then you'll see clearly the lines that you have or haven't done. Just now what I'm doing is I'm now going back and I'm creating a third layer and I'm going to draw on top of this third layer. So I make sure that I've selected it so that the square that I'm drawing on is blue. So the third bit of paper is highlighted in blue. So I'm now going back in and what I've done with my drawing tool is I have thickened the drawing tool. So it's slightly thicker and that way I can just pull out some of the main shapes of the composition so that the quality of line changes and it creates a little bit more depth to the composition. So at any point, I like to be able to click on the toolbar down the side to drop down the paper and to hit the little eye icon to hide the photograph, just so I can check my mark making to make sure that I've not missed out any of the objects. Here, what I'm doing now is I am saving my image to my camera roll and I'm also saving it to my gallery. You can now see two of the still lifes that I have done. So there I have two thumbnail sketches that I can look at and see and compare their compositions and decide which one I want to take forward into a larger scale of work.